Good evening, guys. This is Cool Jeep Babe. Jeep. And I hope you've had a good day. It's been kind of a hectic day for me. I've been cleaning up and going through my Timu stuff, trying to figure out what I've put in a video, what I haven't put in a video. Some of the stuff that's in here might have been in another video. I don't think so. But if you're new here, great. It'll be all new for you. And I've got to figure out this way, this way. All right, I think they're okay. Which way to look? So I'm looking at you guys, technically, instead of at me on camera. Anywho, um, if you're seeing me for the first time, thanks for stopping. Remember, if you like it, like and subscribe. And you never know what is going to go on. You just or what story is going to come out, or I, um, I've lived on a ranch all of my life in Texas. I, although I'm not sheltered, I've traveled. People are like, how do you live on a ranch all of your life? Well, it's quite great, actually. You don't have to deal with a lot of stuff. Stuff. You've got wide open spaces and relatives that would come from towns, cities, wherever. They loved coming out here, but the least little bit of, I don't know, anything that was like uh, coyotes or, you know, their parents would be like, oh my gosh, what is that? And they're pretty much around here unless you mess with their cubs pups whatever the you know hogs coyotes mountain lions uh we don't have very we do have a mountain lion that that roams around just a little bit they travel in a hundred mile radius so they do he circles all around and um i've heard them and I will say, it makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up just a little bit. It sounds kind of like a woman screaming. So that's, you know, unnerving. Hogs, wild hogs, uh, they used to be Russian boars, but now they've kind of crossbred with stuff so now they're just feral hogs and javelinas we have a lot of javelina but they're just as afraid of you as you are of them truthfully unless you're messing with them trying to shoot them get in the way of their young you know just stuff there are circumstances but for the most part like I said I grew up out here running all over the place never had a problem at all, period. So anyway, that's where I live a little bit, what goes on around here. So there's numerous stories. And sometimes if I'm scanning through the Timu app, which is the reason why I'm here today is to show you the stuff that I bought on Timu. And just like I say, chat with you and have some fun, talk send me questions, but uh, if you haven't heard of Timu, I don't know where you've been, but there are some people who haven't, and there are still people who think that it's not a good site, and that's great. If that's what you think, then that's that's your prerogative. That's okay. Um, I, so far, have not had any problems with it. I have not had anybody selling my information, and if you're on Amazon, if you are on social media at all, the odds are your information of some sort has been sold or traded, whatever. So that's not my biggest concern. Um, I do use PayPal. That's a little more secure than just using my personal information straight onto the website, which you should do that anyway on any website you use. 
have some sort of protection for your credit cards, debit cards, whatever. Um, and people are like, you know, well, what? I said, you know, the only thing that I could hope for is that they see my bank account and go, oh, this poor girl needs help and put money in. That's what I hope for. Not that it's ever going to happen, but, you know, you never know. So Timu is a site that you can get stuff very inexpensive. They do sell some of the exact same things that Amazon are selling for quite a significant cut in price. Um, sometimes, you know, you can, like Walmart stuff, whatever, they've got everything from makeup to car parts, depending on what you're wanting. I mean, you know, you're not going to get stuff maybe like at AutoZone yet, but who knows, they may come up with some of that stuff too. And um, I've got my window open here. Let me get stop doing that there. And anyway, you know, it's just a cool site. And I've not had, like I said, the stuff that I have bought, I've only had two things that have been broken. And one was a little thin magnifier that uh, you like lay on your the page or hold right above the page and it magnifies the, you know, the words on the paper. And it was just, the, the end was broken. The corner was broken off. Still use it, but it was just, you know, broken, which it wasn't for a gift or anything. So, okay, whatever. And then um, one of the things I'm going to show you tonight, uh, a mug, travel mug, the corner of the lid is cracked, but you can still use it. So, you know, you know, yeah, granted, you want your stuff to show up nice and neat and pretty and, you know, great. Yes, I agree. But as much of the stuff as I have bought on this place, I've so far been satisfied with it. Clothes, I will say that some of the material that they send, it's not cotton. It's a polyester, but I have to look and see if it's polyester because it is so soft and it feels like a cotton shirt or you know like cotton blend with poly some polyester but you know sometimes it'll say 100 percent polyester um this shirt is one that i got let me see put my let me put my tea mug down Let's see if i can just pull it up it'll be easier it's a little dinosaur, and it has a tea bag, and it says T T E A Rex. So, <laughs> I just covered my face up. How's that? So there you go. There's T Rex, and um, I drink copious amounts of tea, hot tea, iced tea. I'm from Texas. I drink tea. I do not drink sodas. And I don't know if can you, I don't know, these, I've hauled this mug in a previous video I, that I don't know if it ever got to up on, but it's very pretty. It's double walled, you know, so that these are in between and they, they move around, you know, so they're not always here. They may be up here. The little flowers are dried flowers. They're really pretty. And then what I have in here, I think, I might have even hauled this. This is a silicone tea bag. Looks like, you know. And you can put your loose leaf tea in it. Or, um, I did that, and it's okay. The holes, is, you know, it depends on how big the leaf of your tea bag, your tea bag, the leaf of your teas are. But, you know, you're, you may get a little bit of sediment in the bottom. But what I have in there now is the, um, is it the Celestial Seasons, whatever that is. Or it's a tea bag, but it doesn't have the, a string that you can, and it, I mean, I love their teas, but, it, you know, sometimes by the end of it, it's so strong. Or, you know, at the beginning, it just depends on what you're drinking. This one is actually Apple Orchard. 
something like that. And I love this thing. I'm trying to quit drinking so much sugar and I can drink no sugar in my hot teas, but not my sweet tea. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Oh my gosh. My sister drinks like hummingbird water and it's just like, how do you drink this stuff? But I don't drink that strong. Of, I mean, that sweet of tea, but I do like sweet tea, cold. I, and, you know, occasionally, if it's, I mean, I'm not going to not drink it if it's, if it's um, not sweetened, but, you know, I'd much rather have the sweetened stuff. So anyway, but yeah, these are great. So anyway, I have one of those tea bags in there that doesn't have the string on it. Um, so I guess, um, cool stuff, Timu, we were talking about that. Um, I was going to say on their clothing and stuff like that, you do have to read the reviews and not only you go down on the page to the review and there's like three reviews and then up at the little corner, you'll see, it says, see more, go hit that. And it pulls up a lot more if there's any available and it will, those will tend to be I won't say more correct, but they definitely will have sometimes a little more information, you know, like I'll be like, okay, well, like I was just looking at something before I got on and it was talking about a blanket for your beach and um, great for the sand, dries quickly, all of this stuff. Well, I have a beach blanket that I bought in Galveston think it was in Galveston either wherever anyway and I love that thing and it's a true blanket um it's made out of, I'm assuming it's made out of cotton but you can shake it off I mean it's, it's thick and it's really cool I really love that blanket and I cannot find any more so when I saw that I was like oh well cool you know so I'm thinking I'm looking at it and I'm going no that's not the same thing and the first three reviews were good hit that up there and you go down and then it said it was like kind of like the parachute material you would better you should maybe use a towel and I'm like mm, yep nope that's not what I want so you know you have to read measure look at the measurements on stuff that you buy and in actually in this haul you will see why because I assumed my fault that it was going to be something different and it wasn't it was the same product, great product, just, well, you'll see. So well, let me take a drink before we get going here. Yep, tastes really good. I'm gonna sit it back here so it doesn't fall off. All right, let's see. Well, you know, I don't know if any of you saw the teaser or the video short that I put out yesterday with my <laughs> with my partner from work, but um, I said that there would be a story about me almost getting arrested. Literally, this was told to me by an officer, and it was at the airport, and it was because of this. That's what it was because of. And what this is, you can hook it on your belt or you can, it's a, got a, the, for a keychain. I can't say what I was told that they were or what they were called when I found out about them. I bought this is a new one and you'll find out why here why 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 here in a minute but you put your fingers through here and you make a fist and those become a weapon and i like it because it's a you know it's not you know sometimes you know you have your you'll have your keys well those can you know that it's i don't that doesn't feel so secure this You've got a fist and you're the odds. I mean, that's just a natural thing. Excuse me. That's just a natural thing for you to, you know, and, um, so anyway, 
I had one of these and I had it in my car. I got one for my stepdaughter. I got one for my sisters. I mean, I got them for everything. They're, um, the R word, R ape kitty is what I was first told they were. That's what they were called. And it was so you wouldn't get R aped. And so I hope that doesn't get a cause. Anyway, but this is, you know, in this day and age, I think it's silly that we can't say that word. But anyway, you know, this is protection. And, you know, they're not sharp. But they even just doing that, it, it hurts. It, it's a little painful. Anyway, my sister and I were going to New York. I used to go to New York a lot back about five, six, before COVID. So it was before COVID, that's when my son, he was he was uh, with the Air Force stationed in New Jersey. So I would go see him and he said, the only reason I'd come to see him was so that I could go to New York. I denied it, sort of, but you know, if you live that close and he doesn't get off work, take the train. And I loved it. Had no problem being in New York. I never, you know, well, there was one little small incident, but it was, it wasn't a big deal. Um, working with EMS and, and everything, um, you know, you kind of learn, it's like, hmm, you deal with all kinds of people, maybe a little false sense of security. Anyway, we were going through the airport. Let's get back with the story. And when I got out of the car in the garage, I thought, you know, I'm gonna take this just, you know, in case, put it on my keychain. It may pass through, it may not, whatever. So I put it on my keychain and we go through air support security. And my sister, who is about, she's 15 years older than me. Um, I was an uh-oh baby. And uh, boy, was I a surprise and just a source of joy throughout their lives. And um, as I come through, she goes through, whew, no problem, you know. And um, so I come through and I go through the little thing, you know, and it was not, you know, it, it was some security things, but it wasn't like horrible. And I'd taken my shoes off, I'd taken you know, all stripped down, whatever. And when I went through, I got my shoes and I noticed that my little bucket tray wasn't there. And I thought, well, okay, maybe I am. You know. So I'm bending over and I'm putting and tying my shoes or lacing them, zip, whatever shoes I had on. I'm sure I had some sort of hiking boots or something on. And when, you know, I kind of look, glance up and the lady is standing there with my bucket tray bin and I was like, oh, yep, there's a problem. So I thought she's gonna pull me aside. So I'm, I bend back over and I tie my shoes. And when I sit back up fully, well, there's city police, TSA agents. It, there's all kinds of security and agents and whatever and i sit there and i look at him and the, the one of the guys he has he has this like so and he goes is this yours and i'm like uh yes sir he goes do you know that this is illegal and at that time it was because it it was before now they're not but that at that time it clicked back into my head because my husband is, at that time he had, was he a police officer at that time? He might've been anyway, he's been a police officer. For, and um, he had told me, you know, don't ever get caught with that because they're probably gonna, you know, it'll be not good because they're illegal and I'm living in a small community and I work EMS in this community and yeah, right. They're not gonna do anything to me. And I always told him, well, these were the big boys. And I said, um, no, sir. 
And in my defense, I had forgotten that my husband told me that they were illegal because these were considered a form of brass knuckle and brass knuckles are illegal. So I kind of fibbed and, but I really, I had completely forgotten that. So I said, no, I said, no, sir. I said, someone just gave it to me, true, to put on my keychain, and I just didn't even, you know, and he sits there and he looks at me and I'm like, and I says, I am so sorry. I just didn't, you know, and he's standing there and he goes, with this here, he goes, you were this close to going downtown. Well, I don't know about that because I know what it is to do paperwork and I may have been in trouble, but I doubt very seriously I would have gone downtown. Anywho, especially after they ran my credentials and I'm in, you know, everything came up, whatever. So I lost it. Didn't even get to take it to New York. This was, hadn't even gotten on a plane yet. So, so that's how I lost it. The little kitty thing here. And then my sister was waiting for me. Of course, this took a little bit. And she, I walk up, she goes, oh my gosh, where have you been? And I told her, she goes, oh my God, you're such, you're so stupid. <laughs> oh, well, okay, maybe that time. So then, you know, you've got your boarding pass, you've got this, you've got that, and you have to go through another thing before you get to the thing and whatever. Well, because she is so much older than I am, as I love to tease her, um, she just goes, zing, right on by, and she's walking, and by, as I'm standing in line, you know, they put her this way, and she went that way. I get up to the ticket agent, or not the ticket agent guy, but I guess the final check, whatever, and I'm standing there going, this has to do with me bringing that stupid thing on there with me, and I'm like, I wonder if that's what it is. So he's over there and he goes tick, 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 and looks at me and I have a passport. So I don't even have driver's license. I mean, I do, but I mean, I had my passport. He looks at my passport and he leans over his monitor and he looks at me up and down and he looks back at his monitor screen, tick, 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 typing, typing, typing. And I'm like, yep, I'm on some list right now. So anyway, that's how I almost got put in jail because of this. Now they're legal. I don't think you could still take them on an airplane, but they're legal to carry in your car. So that said, I bought another one just because of that. And they're cool. I mean, really, come on. That's pretty cool. Don't do it like that either. Don't put them here. You put it flat against your knuckle like that the flat of your that's where you want to hit somebody hopefully you would never have to do that so anyway that's how this all came about enough of that and i almost i got searched on the way out of new york on that trip it was not a good time it was not a good trip for me <laughs> Probably because of the first time around, down in when we the city we left out of, and then leaving out of New York, you know, I'm pretty sure I was on some form of freaking list there. And I didn't take my ID out. And then I had, oh, I had, a, I, had I forgot to put my belt in my suitcase. So I just put it on. And I don't ever put my belt on without put, tucking my shirt in. That's just, I'm a big, that's just, you know, so, but I didn't that time because we were in a hurry to get out of the, of the hotel. Coming through and I'm like, she goes, oh. And so I come through, she goes, oh, and I'm taking my belt off. She goes, okay, I'm going to have to swab your hands. I'm like, what? She goes, I'm going to have to swab your hands. So I hold my hands up like this and she rubs this little cotton swab. It's not, not a swab, a little towelette looking thing over this. Turn them over. 
both sides and it feels warm. I don't know what it is, but it felt kind of warm or whatever. And she sticks that through a little machine to see if I have residue on me. Really? Do I look like a terrorist? No, I don't. I'm not. I'm a very friendly person. Really, I am. So then while that's being processed over here, she goes, I'm going to have to search you. You can choose to be searched out here, or you can choose to go into another room. I thought, I think not. I know what happens in those searches in the other room. <laughs> what you got to do, you can do out here. So it was the whole thing, you know, pat down like they do, whatever. No big deal. But I did make her chuckle. And I tend to make a lot of people chuckle. As she was doing it, I says, you know, I, I'm not unfamiliar with what you're doing. I says, my husband is a police officer. And she stops and she looks at me. And I'm looking down at her. And I said, yeah, yes, yes. This is going to be a really good story to tell him. So anyway, they let me on the plane. And then again, once again, my sister's like, oh my gosh, what have you done this time? That one was not my fault. Okay, on with the Timu haul. Timu haul, so that was, wow, 26 minutes of stuff. So my first one, let's get some boxes out of the way. My first one is this little cool rabbit full space rabbit. I don't know what my thing is with space now here lately, but I don't know. It's just, just cute little things, you know? And I don't know if it's but my son. I think it could be too because my son in the Air Force, he wanted to um, go to NASA and didn't happen. But look, isn't that the cutest thing you have ever seen? Let me go this side. Do my... Have you guys noticed when you see, all of my thumbnails look like crap. I don't know why, because I'll pose for them. Let's pose. And y'all, I feel so stupid sitting here doing this. Cheese. Okay, good enough. Anyway, and here's the back of it, and it has a very long you know, I, I have I tied a knot in it back here because I don't want it banging against my legs. Hey, Boomer. There's my big boy. Can you say hi? Okay, what is it? What is it? Huh? Yeah, no, it's not a toy. It's not a toy. You can't have it. Here we go. I'll never get that back where it's supposed to be. And I would like you guys to know he just opened the back door by himself, or my bedroom door. He's a, a mastiff, and he uses his teeth, and he opens the back door. I don't know if that's going to be right or wrong. I don't care. Do the TV hall. Anyway, so this is this, and you push that, and it comes up. And it's got a little straw in it. And because that thing there, it'll stay back. But yeah, and it's cute. And it's, you know, the lit, the head comes off. And you know, does it tell me how much? I cannot remember what the full ounce is on it. And it came in different colors. It's got red, green, cream color, and black. And um, it was $19.24, but it's a good quality. It really is. It's very, it's kind of heavy. So, dropping things everywhere. Um, well, it says it's a rabbit vacuum cup. Has kind tips on it. Yeah, wash it, manufacturer, blah, blah, blah. Do not put hot water with too high a temperature in case of excessive pressure in the cup. Let's 
it says oh Four hundred and seventy milliliters. I have no idea. I have no idea what four hundred and seventy milliliters are. You can look it up if you really want to know. But that's how much it is. Four hundred and seventy milliliters. But anyway, it's very cute. These do not do anything. I don't think they do anything. I haven't been able to make them do anything. And then it just twirls back on there. And they don't show a picture of it doing anything. So, yeah. Nope. So, there you go. That's your little space rabbit. Wait a minute. Where, why does he have... I just noticed. And his ears... That's not a... That's not missing off of this. His ears are squishy. So, it's just a different thing. This just says rabbit... It's got some little lightning bolts or something there. Yeah, little lightning bolts. And it's got the little cool rabbit space bin. So cool. So yeah, so would I say that was 1924 rabbit space cup. So put that over there. And I've got this going. I'm gonna show it in the box here again. It is a, a little spacecraft, and it's got the little spaceman here, but this is a humidifier. Space capsule humidifier. And I actually have that going right here. Oh, it's not gonna go. Oh, good, it's charged up. Okay, let's see if it'll do it. First off, here's your little space guy. And the thing about this, is it opens. And this little dude, you can take him out if you want to. He's secure in there. You know, I it took him a minute, took me a minute to get, he has little holes in the bottom of his feet. He's rubber or a hard plastic or whatever. Anyway. Close that up, and here's got the little, like, little side windows and, like, the little legs to it. This is where you, the USB, where you plug it in. Another window on that side. Oh, let's see if it'll work. Long hold. Are you kidding me? It said when the lights were turned off that it would work so i am going to change it around i've got a longer extension cord i'm probably going to pull something off so if you hear a crash don't be alarm alarmed i'm going to unplug that for a minute you guys can't read it anyway i want to do something different it says like subscribe and share is what that back there says it but you can't read it I'm um, gonna have to do something different, but I thought the light would be cool. So anyway, all right, here we go. So you hold it once, and it starts flashing. See, it does all the cool colors. Oh, great, Boomer. Excuse me while I close that door. Great, there's gonna be moths flying every direction with all the lights I've got in here. Great. Anyway, okay, back on this. Flashes, colors. And then can you see the, there, can you see the mist? And you put, you know, I'll show you here in just a minute. But you got the flash. You don't have to have these flashing. They go away. And there's three different, the first one with the, it made the mist come. Oh, oh, intermittent. As you well know, you kind of have to stumble through these things. So that'll, that's cool. That goes all, you can see it going through my hair right there. And then it'll quit. 
and then it goes off again. Cool, so that's the second setting. And there's the lights flashing again. Is it gonna go off? Steam gonna go off anymore? I don't know. Huh. So do we get to keep those? Oh, oh, there's the steam. The light's gonna go away or are they gonna stay? Okay, so you, they go slower. The lights are gonna go slower. Okay, like I said, I was playing with this beforehand, but it wasn't fully charged. Well, they said it was fully charged. I wonder if you can put, I'm gonna turn it upside down. They says when it's charged, you don't have to have the cord. Well, I think that's what it said anyway. I don't really know. Oh, well. Already makes me breathe better. So yeah, and it does actually puts out here. Can you, there. Can you, it does actually put out quite a bit of vapor, whatever it is. Anyway, these are $9-ish. I think I saw one for eight. 98 one for nine 12 nine you know so they're different companies have them for a little bit of different price and the water goes in here like that so there there you go there's your little spaceman humidifier i just thought that was too cool you can open it up cool fun times and the back in here with him in front of it you can't see it but it looks like a panel to uh, fly the spacecraft not very detailed but it's like lighted up or anything it's not like that so anyway there is that so I'm gonna unplug it because it doesn't have a very long charging cord see the minute I unplugged it it, it goes away Let's see if it comes back on. No. Does it come on? Well, it didn't come on. I had that out of there either. Hmm. But just don't move it. Leave it by your cord or your charging thing. See, the cord's not that long. It's just your standard. But it is a C. It's one of the C whatever you, they call them. So you know you can get enough. You can get longer ones of those. I've got numerous ones for my iPhone because that's what I have mostly. So there's that, and this little thing. I've had it in my cart. I've taken it out of my cart. I had it in my cart. I took it out of my cart. And then it was like, you know what? I'm buying it. There's some people that are like my, well, okay, fine. My EMS partner, she just was like, why? And I was like, why not? Why not? It's cute. That's why. Isn't that just so cute? I couldn't help it. Does that tell you something? Does that tell you that I might actually reminds me of myself a little bit? Maybe. Let's see if we can get a better thumbnail with this. But not only you know, she's pretty cute, pretty detailed. And these are not horns, they're rabbit ears. They're a, they're a headband. And then you can put stuff in it like pens or little flowers, you know, whatever. But anyway, couldn't help it. Too cool and cute. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to put her, where am I going to put her? Let's put her back here. How about right there? 
I know. I need to scoot this chair back, I think. Like I said, I spent some time today. Yeah, that's what it is. It just dawned on me. I'm not, I need to put my chair back some more so you can, so I'm back a little bit more. I guess you guys let me know what you think. Do I need to scoot back more? And, you know, kind of, I don't know, whatever. This is new too. This, wherever it is right here, this little chow sign because that's how I sign out or say goodbye or whatever. So anyway, I mean, I'm getting ahead of myself. The little um, bubble gum was only $6.11. So she was sweet and cute with a little bit of spice in there. So that's what that was. And... Let's see, I got, I got, I got, let's see what's in here. See my bag, and these were, these used to be all nice and neat, and I had the prices for all of them, but no, somebody has gone through them and kind of got them mixed up, but that's okay. That's all right. I get it. This is a t-shirt, and it feels very soft. There again, does not have a bad smell. Sometimes they will have a smell, but usually that's if, um, like, I just got a shirt, and I, I have hauled it in one of the other ones. I think I've got it in there, and it had, like, a pleather, you know, the fake leather, I have washed that thing. It had, it was the leather, and it had leather down the sleeves, but it had um, plaid. It had plaid in the front. Very cute shirt. Very, very cute. And I bought it, oh my gosh, a couple of three, two months ago, maybe? Three months ago? Anyway, it's in, I've done some reviews on it. It still smells, I did put it in vinegar, which I can't stand the smell of vinegar, and it's still, so you have to be really careful with that kind of stuff and take a chance, but with, with Tamu or Timu, ever how you're going to say it, they're really good about taking it back, and sometimes you, in no charge, it's, it's all, it's mostly some, usually a free return, and you, sometimes they'll just say, you know what, keep it, We'll just send you another one if you don't like it or, you know, or if it's broken, whatever. But anyway, here's this shirt. I have a dachshund. Thankfully, he's not a chunk of monk like this. But it's a very cute little shirt. And it is a an extra large. I usually, for myself, will get extra large. Um, unless it's, sometimes I would get the, it'll be, they'll say plus size clothing, and then I'll get, what is it, the O zero large, whatever that is, before it gets into 1X, 2X, 3X, usually, but the, um, this actually, that's about right, extra large, and like I said, it feels really good, and I wonder if it's made with all polyester, Yep, 100% polyester, and you can tell. It's not, it, and I don't like that stuff um, that just like sucks down to you and it sticks to you, and no, no. These actually, for the most part, this kind will do the opposite. It does, um, it actually keeps you a little bit cooler. I was surprised, because when I, I was like, hmm, uh, and it's some of the thicker ones, maybe, but, you know, and these, <laughs> I don't know if anybody heard my first story, but these are different. These are not the, the bra thing. Oh, I told the story where I put those stick-on bra, you know, you hook them in the middle, and it came undone, and while I was, I was also a hairstylist for 30-something years, and, um, <laughs> it came undone, 
It's not any of the new stuff. This is this was a while back, like in the 90s. More like the very first prototype, probably. Put it on. One of the cups came undone. It slides down. I end up having three boobs. In the middle of the haircut, I was cutting a guy's hair. And I'm trying to push it back so it sticks. And it's not sticking and whatever. But these are the ones that... What they call these? They call these on Timu. They're so funny. Ooh, those are those are really sticky. You pull it and it's the sticky you put so it would go actually like that. So this is the sticky part here. And you put it like your boob under here and you pull up and lift and stick these to your chest. For some reason, I hope I can say they call them nipple covers. Nipple, nipple lifters is what they call them. <laughs> really? Anyway, these were not much, what were they called? Where are they? Just a few cents, I think. Musical sun, blue, white, dog, bubble, cow, uh, rabbit. <laughs> there they are, yeah, like $1.68. And I have, and I have not tried these before. So it's, it'll be interesting. I'll do this while I'm around the house. Mm -hmm. Learn my lesson. So, yep. So there's that. And I got a card. It says, I met you. I liked you. I loved you. I'm keeping you. For my husband. And it was a few cents. I can't remember how much this was, but it was a, yeah, a few cents on that. And I don't, some of this stuff, I may not have the price. Rather, like I said, these are earrings, uh, lightweight. They're, they're wooden, I think. Did I already open these? No, I didn't. I thought they were pretty, you know, wear with whatever. And they're made of like a wood material, see, and it's all they're they're not on the back, but that's okay. But they are the sun and the moon. And the the color, you I don't know if you can get it in not like that. But I'll uh, back up. The color is a really good. They're really bright and detailed. You know, so you've got both of them. And they're, I have earrings in. I should, boom, Earth, quit opening the door. That's it. You're done. Quit. Go get on the bed and lay down. You've been fed. You've been fed. Quit being a rear end. Where's Jet? Jet's on the bed. Go lay down. You can get up on the bed and lay down. I got all the stuff. It's I don't have snacks. I don't. I don't have snacks. You've been fed. Go. What did you do? Right now. Go lay down, please. Go. Go lay down. You're not going back outside. He goes, <laughs> I have to put, he does this himself. I do not put my dog in the closet. <laughs> I have to put a pallet or whatever in our walk-in closet because that's where he goes. He does it to himself. I don't, what was that that flew by? I have no idea what he has let in this house. But they're flying. Gosh. I'm gonna have, to, whatever. Anyway, where I was going with this before I was rudely interrupted by the family dog. You know, they're, they're kind of big, but they're not obnoxious. You know, I don't think so, because I'm not a big, they're, they're big, but they're not like all glittery and splashy, you know, and that's great. I do. They just look good. 
Sometimes it just depends on what you're wearing. So anyway, but the, these were $1.48. So, and those, I might have gotten those on, um, a sale maybe, but if so, there wasn't that much of a sale to them. So, let's see, I need before I even get these open. You got mosquitoes coming and getting me. You would think, think that there wouldn't be mosquitoes, but oh no. Looks like we've got, I don't know what you guys call them, but those, those things, I'm looking at one right now, they, they're like, we call them mosquito hawks or something like that. But they seem to have birthed. Like I said, I like nature. I just don't want it on me. That's my big thing. I don't mind going out in it and, you know, but mm -mm, just don't want stuff falling on me. Uh, these are musical instrument earrings, and these were 58 cents. I know I got these on a, a sale. And these actually are on both sides. So these are pretty cool. Same material. Actually, these may be kind of a, a plastic. But again, very, very detailed. The colors, I'll back it up if you want. Very, very pretty. And they had uh, different styles of, of the guitars, uh, different colors. Like some of them, this was black and then the, all the, they had, these had different flowers. So each, each thing was different. These are just the ones that I chose, you know, so yeah, those were only 58 cents. For me, they may be, you know, a more upwards to the sun and the moon earrings because of those were, now that I'm thinking about it, those were not on sale. They were close by with these, you know, in the same lineup. So yeah, so those are cool. I haven't worn those yet. And these things are cool. Hopefully they work because where I live, our water tends to have a lot of uh, minerals in it, and sometimes it can turn the fixtures uh, the rusty color, or it leaves lime scale behind. And these are magnets. Is that what they call them? Yeah, magnet toilet cleaner. It stays in this. Well, I, my husband was like, Dang, let's take it out when I showed him. But see, it's like it, this, and in it, it's like a magnet, I guess. Just like your regular type magnet. And it's got the hole right there. And what they say is you drop them in your tank of your toilet, and it's supposed to help demagnetize or whatever. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Anyway, I really hope these work. This will be a game changer. I don't have the horribly rusty water. It's not rust. The water itself is not rusty. Um, sometimes it is, but for myself, it's usually from, um, that's not what those go in. There they are. Nope, that's not what they go in. Either. Oh, here they are. It's usually from the pipes, like all the the galvanized pipes that we've had. Like I said, my uh, this ranch has been in my family for well over a hundred years, and uh, you know we've done some upgrading. We're not, you know, we, we should, we're not gonna, we don't have the same stuff. We do have running water in our house and toilets. Although I just got I just got water back in my house because our um because of where i in texas where i live it we didn't get very much rain for the summer and since uh before thanksgiving my well went dry and we have another one that i could have utilized but the pump was out and that would have been five uh, roughly five thousand dollars to fix it and i said nope so we just waited for the water to come back, which it's only done that, this will be the third time. And um, it did it in the 50s for my father, and that's when he drilled the other well. 
anyway, but I do have water now, but we were having to haul water to flush the toilets and, you know, drinking water, and it wasn't horrific. I mean, yeah, it was, most people would be like, oh my gosh, there ain't no way, no way, <laughs> no way. Well, yeah, it wasn't all that great. All right, this is uh, Moissanite. Can you, I don't know if you can, there it is, right there. And if you do not know what Moissanite is, it is, um, man-made diamond, I guess. Anyway, this is how it came. Very pretty, very sparkly. Um, And I did not think that this was in here, so therefore I didn't, oh, what is broken? Oh, is anything broken? Oh, no, that's just the way it was in that plastic wrap stuff. But it was, oh, how much was this necklace? It was in my cart for 20 something and they got a discount but anyway it goes in and it's got a little a little tiny teardroppy diamond little sparkly there but also I just liked how that was in there and there's no no sparkle on that. Just, that's just, it's, it doesn't feel like it, but yeah. And this chain is, as you can also tell, it's very, very good chain, very dainty, a very dainty chain. And it goes through that and hangs like that. So yeah, cool. Like I said, I had thought that I didn't know where this was. But I'd put it up or whatever I did with it. But yeah, so and I and this is my this that I have on is also moissanite. And it's got it's got it's a square box looking and the front the face of the box is uh, crystal diamondy things, and then this is a little diamond on the side of it that kind of it'll spin, not a lot, but it will a little bit. And well, I should have showed you this while I had you there. This is I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It says "I love you" on it, and it's like a little envelope. And then, you may be able to see it better that way. But it says, yeah, it says, I love you. And then the end pulls out. It doesn't come out all, you know, apart, but they give, this is a surface that you can write on or put a little tiny picture or something in there. And I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna get my husband, he has, he has really pretty initials, SGC, and uh, the way he does it, it, it swirls, they swirl together, so I'm going to get him to put his initials in there. Speaking of that, that necklace was, huh, <laughs> did I write that down? I thought I wrote it down, weird, I didn't. Oh, that's a different, that's a sign, I was like, that did not cost that much, it wasn't very much, it was uh, like a dollar, two dollars, no more than five. Most of the stuff that I buy, every so often I'll get, you know, like I'm gonna, I will, I'll buy stuff just to see what the quality is, you know, so that if somebody else wants to, um, are interested in the, you know, they're looking through Timo and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, I think I want to buy that. I'm gonna do this or that, but I don't know the quality. Well, I'm one of those ones like. 
Well, let's see what it is. And I'll buy it. And this is, we're coming up on an hour, but I don't care. We're going on. If you want to stay with me, you can stay with me. If not, thanks for stopping by. And no hard feelings. Just remember to click the like button. And I'm, I myself am really bad about forgetting to click the like button. I'll have to go back in and click the like button. So I try to do that right when I first click onto a video. Well, especially if it's people that I've, I watch all the time. I was like, oh, I've got to click the like button. And subscribe. Like I said, it's things are getting better. Um, this is a stain remover. I'm not sure how this works, but it's almost, it's like, it's like an eraser. And it shows that it, you know, and it guess it goes away, you know, and it's in there, and it it feels like there's a little bit of grit in 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 it. And like I said, I haven't used it yet, but I got this to take off this the stains around my um, faucets. And if this was lighter in the day, it got dark before I could get this video going. But if it was a, a lighter in the day and all the windows I have in my house, it'd be much lighter and you could see what was going on. We would go and see if this works. And I still may do that. I still may go ahead and, you know, one day gather up all the stuff that I've got that needs to be seen to see if it works or not. And this, I'm just gonna, sh well, okay. Uh -huh. I dropped another earring. That gum it. Anyway, this is, turn you around. There. Back you up. And it's a sunflower with the swirls. So, yeah, and good quality chain there. Let me see if I can get this to show up a little better. Well, yeah, it would if I could turn it there. So pretty and lightweight, not not real heavy. And there again, just your standard size there. Standard size earring. And those were a dollar seventy four. So not real expensive, but there's a good weight. You know, sometimes you get the, the inexpensive stuff and it feels like bubble gum jewelry, you know, that comes out of the gum machines. And there's been a couple, just a few times that I've bought stuff that, um, that I was like, hmm. This was a free gift. I have no idea, free. Free. I was playing the fish game. I'm not going to say anything about the fish game because it is on Timu, Timu Tabu. And there's a lot of people that like playing the fish game. I, however, am not a fan. <laughs> anyway, what this, what this is, is it looks like it's a, a drill. It goes on your drill and it comes with a bit like so this goes in here this goes into your drill hand you know, your electric drill or battery operated drill this is supposed to be a universal for any type of screw or that you need to take out and it's supposed to conform to you know, like my little finger, it, it goes around it and it, it grips, you know, it does grip. And then like my thumb, bigger, you know, it, it forms around it also. And then you use your drill and it's supposed to help you take out, like you don't have to have a, the correct size for the head of the screw that you're trying to take out. So, and I don't, I don't know how much that was because it was in my free, Thing from 
trying to win, win, win the fish game. And um, I could have bought 30 of them probably before I won that game. Anyway, it's a lovely game. Anyway, I don't know what's in here. There may not be any. Oh, this may be more moissanite. It is. No, it's just, no, this is not moissanite. Is this moissanite? It didn't come with moissanite instructions. This may be just zirconia. This is a ring. And it has... It has some sparkle to it. Can you get it back? You can see it sparkle. It's just a silver band sparkle. And I got it mainly to go on that thumb. And that's a size 10. So, and it goes on, you know, my knuckles from doing hair. They've got, uh, there, and my loose, you know. But this one, this size, this goes on a little easier on this side. This is my right hand, and I'm right-handed, so of course this side's going to be more muscled up. So it may sit on that hand. It depends. And I don't know if any of you have seen this ring. This is my father. It looks like a skull, but it's not. It's a anchor and thing. It's my father's navy ring. And so I wear that. But yeah, that's what that is. And again, this was not... I don't think this was very much. I'm so sorry. I don't have the the price of it. Um, but like I said, it, it's I generally don't spend all that much for the stuff. Okay, is that is that is that that is that Hey, that's all that's in that box. Yippee! All right. Another one real quick. This is also, this, isn't he cute? He's so cute. I did not order this and I didn't pay for it. I don't know who, what, anyway, it just showed up along with a couple of other things. Not, not others, that, that, no, this was not from playing the game. But anyway, it's very cute. I'll sit back so you can see what it does. Oh, come on. Did my sister break it? She was playing with it earlier. That doesn't sound good. It was doing just fine earlier. Oh, well, and I can't get into it because it has some of those little things that screw on. It's like it wants to. Oof, oh, oh. She didn't turn it off, that's why. There. Hello, baby. Let's sing together. Do you hear the See? Can you tie the Can you tie the Can you the Okay. Enough of that. And then there's playtime, as they call it. showing up for this anyway like I said I didn't order it it just showed up from Timu because it was in a Timu bag and um, so yeah cool <laughs> I don't know if you like this elephant child baby 
toys, um, musical. Yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys that because it was so cute. Do I have anyone to give it to? No. Not yet, anyway. And this is a t-shirt. Let's move this along. T-shirt. And it, uh, ooh, this feels even better than the other one. Oh, it feels so soft. And it's got, back it up. Cowboy standing at a fence. And that's a very common sight if you go to rodeos and stuff or work on a ranch or whatever. Anyway, it is, I was going to say this earlier too. I'm pretty sure it's an extra large. Yep. It's an extra large and I am 5'9 and roughly 170. It fluctuates. So, and it's, you know, and it hangs. It actually probably would hang below my belt line. So, you know, you could, it'd be long enough to wear it too with, for me, um, leggings. And that shirt was 703. 703. This is a paint roller. And it's, it has extension things for it, you know, to, to clip in together. Paint, paint. I know I wrote it down. Okay, maybe not. Pretty sure I did. Anyway, what it does... Is you can put... And I'm sorry... No, I always say I'm not going to apologize for the crackling of the paper. How else do you think we're supposed to get this stuff out of here? So, it, ooh squishy but yeah yep. you open the end and you put the paint in there now I have never used these before so I don't know if it's going to work I don't know but I figured I'd give it a try because come summertime it's paint time around here down at my mom's house we need to fix it up I've got my ranch up for sale we just need to do a little bit of maintenance on it. And it was rubber magnet, toilet stain, snuggle with that, paint roller, I told you. It was $9.29. And it came with, you know, this. So that, this, and I don't, I know I didn't write this down. This was not very expensive at all. And what it is, is it's for, um, they said it was for washing your car. But I mean, I guess you could, whatever you wanted to wash, but it's a, a mitt. And I like it because it's got a split right there. So it doesn't go back and forth. You actually can grip and it's, this is very soft. You can tell by how it does that. And it's, you can, I'm, and I don't think I'm going to use it for, to wash. I think I'm going to use it to buff, which I think it'd be much better, but to buff the paint, like, wax or something on it and like i said this i know this wasn't very much so all right cool there's that and these cool things make sure there's nothing in it these are f well you know what did i write that Nope, I didn't. 
but I did write these down. <laughs> I didn't put right. I did not put the they're these. And they are gloves. And I just they just feel like Anyway, I, they're for gardening, like picking up leaves or stuff. But around here, i turn my little self. But around here, when I saw wood, the little wood chips and cleaning up the area, because we, when I, we cut down trees and stuff, I thought, well, these could be kind of cool. And I also thought, that once I got them and was playing with them, you can't help but kind of go... They'd be great for Halloween or a costume that you needed. And you could put, you know, whatever color, you know, black or green or whatever the monster that you're gonna do. They're kind of they're kind of that greeny turquoisey. They look blue, more blue, but they're kind of greeny turquoise. And this is like your rubber gloves that you uh wash dishes with. But anyway, yep, they were fun. And they weren't very much either. Like I said, I don't know why I didn't write the number the, the numbers. Oh, well, I didn't write the numbers down. But anyway, fun. They had fun playing with these at EMS, believe it or not. And what does it look like that? Uh, what's in here? There's only one in this one. I saw... Hey, everybody. Do one of these. And I was like, you know what? That just looks fun. And it's a mask and you're going great. No, I do not want to be Jason. No, I do not want to be Jason. But what it does, it comes with, um, you know, you, you put it on. My hair all the way from I'm doing. You put it on. I don't know if you can hear me, I'll come up close. And as creepy as it is, is it gonna be charged? Oh, come on. Is it? Oh, I cannot believe. For reals. I cannot believe they ran it down. I leave it at EMS. Here. It is a light mask. And it does, if you can see... It does red, blue, green, clear, and purple. And each light does something different for your skin. One diminish, diminishes, yeah, diminishes the pores in your skin, makes them smaller. Uh, one of it does the capillaries, you know, like if you, that one's supposed to sort of tighten it up. If you have brown spots, you know, whatever. It does that. Oh, I can't believe they ran it down. Okay, let me just do this very quickly, see if it comes on. If not, we're not gonna spend much time on it. You plug it in the chin area. Does it plug in down here on this? Is it gonna come on? Better not have broken my mask. Maybe it's because you're not supposed to use it when it, well, I'm just a little bit miffed. I'm gonna tell you. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna charge it up. <clears throat> and I'll show it to you in a, another haul. What's that? Oh, this is, a little mug. Like a little mug, very, very delicate. And I might have shown this in another video, but I don't remember. But anyway, it's got a little heart in in the bottom of it. So yeah, pretty cool. The, oh, there you go. You can see it now. Anyway, yeah, and I don't remember. Four dollars? Six 
dollars, something like that. Very pretty, cute little mug. Very dainty. Oh, dude, look at the rocks. You wouldn't believe the mess I've got going. Is that it? Nope, that's a space man. Oh well, I'll just put it down there very gently. And I got this is what I was talking about. Let's see, I've got that. I'm gonna do the other one first. I got this. Not much more. Hang with me. Hang over with me. I am determined to get this stuff. I have been have had this stuff and had this stuff. This is a cute little space boy. That is this little sucker is heavy. As you can see, it's just it's it's weighted. Anyway. It's very cute. Just another one of those things. Little cute detailing. His little tennis shoes, shorts, hands in pockets. I have two boys, so I'm sorry. I'm a sucker for that. He's got his little hoodie shirt on with his little space helmet and his little gold chain. And he was... Um... He was 1967, and like I said, I got this for my son, whatever, if he wants it, fine. If not, like I've said in other things, it's cute. One day, maybe, but yeah, so there's this size, and you can see, mm -hmm. this is what I kind of figured, you know, it was going to be. Then... I get this box and I was like, oh, maybe there's two in there. No, there's not. <laughs> there's just one. And for comparison, there. <laughs> so, I mean, cute, but you can imagine I open it up and I'm like, you know that moment of when you're going, um, I don't think I got this. Well, yep. I think the, the ball in this one, because it being silver, I think it is is a, a metal material. This one is more the plastic, but it's the gold. But still, just as detailed, and they have a little star in the hands. And, you know, the little girl. This just was screamed girl for me. And that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna get, you know, the little girl and the little boy, astronauts. Well, this looks like the mother, and this looks like the son. S-O-N. Anyway, this one, as cute as it is, is, no, this one is, nine, you believe it or not, this one is 1967. This is the one that is 2148, and I think probably because it's got the metal in it. They're very well made. There's, the color is, is the coloring on it is very good. The detailing, you know, you can tell like around the seams, the legs and stuff. There's, it's not um, messy. So they're very good quality. <sighs> very cute if you're doing your baby or your children's or something in, you know, something that they can keep. <sighs> My mom would get stuff like this and she would always put the year or something that she gave it to us from mom and dad and then the year on the, the foot or something like, you know, for Easter, Christmas, you know, whatever. Just as a little memento. And, uh, oh, don't fall over. 
and they're made of a um, a resin kind of material. All right, guys, this is gonna be it. Let's get through this quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Because I, I don't have some of the prices for this, I know for a fact. These are little bags. So this will go faster. Little bags that you can give, put, you know, whatever in, little storage bags. But they have Bible verses on them. Uh, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. My hair's going back. If we do not give up. Very quickly, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make, and I can't read it. I know I should know these verses because I've gone to church my entire life. This one is, oh, I didn't show you the thing. Sorry. Pretty little things. This was this one. And I don't know. I don't know why. This is the one that made me buy it. It says, with all, with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. And this is a verse, was one of my mom's favorite ones. And um, she would do, is that one in here? No, that was, that was one of them. And here's this one. She is clo clothed with strength and dignity and laughs without fear of the future. Meaning, you know, if you believe in whichever God you believe in, you know, I just, I know that I, without faith in him, what is that one? It just seems for me it makes life a little easier. Some people don't believe that, and that's fine. Like I said, I'm not judgmental. We all have to get through life as best we can. Here's a dark blue one. And the zippers are good. You know, and they're like a canvasy material. About the same. Faith, hope, love, but the greatest is love true and I always say that you you know love is most important love is this love is that to me no respect and dignity not dignity I saw that somewhere else trust respect and trust in a marriage heavily outweigh love for me you can love somebody all you you know just you know a lot just you know whatever with all of your heart you can love somebody but if you don't trust them yeah what I, why have I got dignity it's not dig it's 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 not dignity any what I said earlier anyway love is not the most important and then this is the one that before every track meet, every basketball game, everything we ever did, mom would tell us this, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. And it just, standing down there waiting for the gun to fire in a track meet, this is what I would say. Um, you know, so yeah, whatever. So there was, they, those were, there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There were ten of them. So, you know, one of these days when I get enough followers, so like, share, and subscribe. When I get enough followers, I will do giveaways um, and you know, I, that's the biggest thing for me. I have more fun doing that than I do getting for myself. Um, and I don't, I'm not an affiliate or anything yet. I um, buy all of these myself. And 
Like I said, I give them to friends. I give them to this. I give them to that. This is like a little card, like a little um, plastic business card. And it says, in case, <clears throat> in case you needed a little reminder, I love you now and always. So, for my sons or my husband, I'm not real sure who will get that. Um, I, I bought more than one. The, um, Cents. This is all this little stuff I got was able to, they gave me the 89 cent thing. And this is coat hangers, as you can see. And in one of my other earlier hauls, I hauled one that had the um, like clips hanging down. And these are just like this so that you can hook whatever your tank tops, you know, whatever, just one over each thing and it keeps them from sliding off the hooks. So yeah, and these were not very much, like maybe three bucks or something like it. I did, I, I've had them for so long, I didn't have the thing. And these are for your bar soap. Put your bar soap in there and it's it's not horribly rough, but it, it's like a, a, little, a little bit rougher washcloth. And then it has a little drawstring on it and it keeps your, you can use this to exfoliate and use a bar soap. Because like for myself, I, some of the liquid soaps, they, um, in the winter time, they'll break me out. But Cetaphil bar soap works good in that. This, I might have done this in another haul. This is a ladle on one side and then strain the juice out on the other side. These were just a few cents. Um, this, the, whoo, that was Southern. This. <laughs> oh, my partner at EMS the other day, she was saying that we were gonna stay on scene for patient care. <laughs> and she came out, she goes, We'll be on scene for patient care. And I look, I'm like, where did you, where did that come from? This is a tool that helps you with, uh, when you do caulking seams and stuff, this helps scrape it off, stuff up like this. And then this, um, wheel. I think, I think they've got it. Yes. You put, um, I think it came with blades that go in here. And I can't get that to come off. But anyway, it's a tool that you take and you scrape the, the caulk out of, like around windows, you know, the putty that goes in that. You scrape this out and then this, I think you have to, to reassemble it because if it was assembled like it's supposed to, it's, and I may be talking, I don't know. There's probably people out there that use them going, no, you are cur, you are wrong. I do know it's for taking caulking and stuff, smoothing caulk and doing that stuff. Uh, this is a bracelet. Uh, it's not anything great. I just got it. One of my friends liked it. These are, what are these? I don't even know what these are. Oh, I do know what they are. How do you get in there? These are earrings for a nurse, whatever. My niece is a nurse. My niece-in-law is a nurse. And if you have anybody, you know, if you just like to be prayer warriors and pray, She's been in the hospital going on almost two weeks now. And it was one of those things like, you know, she went in thinking that she had um, maybe the flu or something like that. And come to find out, they were almost had to remove her lung because she was septic. She had no idea because she didn't, just didn't even do. 
But anyway, you can see she's going to get most of those. I'm going to get the heart, and I've got some in my hand that fell off. I'm going to get the heart with the heartbeat and maybe the stethoscopes, but um, she gives more shots and the nurse's hat and stuff like that. So that's what that is. And those were just a few cents. I don't like, I don't have that written down either. These are super cool. I got these for, um, to use in EMS. And I know that they are, I wrote it down. Yep. They're, 1748 but I know for a fact that people pay a lot more for these and they're trauma shears this is a sharp blade this is a serrated it's got a measurement on it it has a clip to clip in your belt it has But the good thing of it is, is they fold up and don't take up that much room. They have this, it's a seatbelt cutter, very, very sharp right there. Man, that's sharp. So, you know, that's that, but it folds in, you know, so you're not going to cut yourself. It folds in like that. And you don't, you know, you're not going to do that. And like I said, this side has the clip to clip on your belt. But then when you go you like this, very easy to engage them. So yeah, these, I was really excited. And you can also put, put them on a string. And that's your, that little sharp, very sharp little point right there is to pop windshields, uh, windows, which, by the way, are getting harder to do because they've got so much, you know, glass break, you know, glass shatterproof stuff that it's kind of getting hard to sometimes be able to get into it. But, you know, protection, I'm all for it protecting the people on the streets and it's getting crazy out there I have to go I don't have to sorry about that I want to I want to go see my husband he works out of town as I've mentioned before we don't get to see each other very often um I thought this was kind of a cool little thing it's a this is what I think it is yeah you plug this in to your computer or whatever charger and then you've got your different things to plug in you uh not usb you're those little port things that you can plug in oh my gosh maybe it's a drive soft drive hard drive whatever anyway cool <laughs> i'm so sorry I can't think of what it's called. A type C card reader. Oh, who I wrote it down. A type C card reader. And it was $2.48. There. Whew, I redeemed myself on that one. I was stumbling around on that one. Blah, 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 blah. What in the world have I got going in here? Oh, a potato peeler. I do not know why. I, I don't. I don't. I, I don't know. They're sharp. I know that. I don't know why I got this. I don't even know how much it was. So, yeah, anyway, it's sharp. Potato peeler, carrot peeler, vegetable peeler, whatever. Um, these are, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of kinesiology tape, but... That's what, there's several of them. And that's what they are. They, if you have not heard of kinesiology tape and you have anything like muscle hurt, like 
my shoulder will hurt right in here. Like just doing that hurts. And that's what these are. These are shoulder and there's different ways to put it on, um, different for different ailments, but it's, it's the stuff that if, I don't know if you watch sports, but you'll see they have the different colored ones on. And so, you, you know, you, there's a way to put it on. You, it's, it's a, it has a stretch to it. And that's part of the thing. But, you know, when I first tried one of those, I was like, yeah, right. No, they work uh, very well. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend those. And I just, I got these. I've never tried the pre-shaped ones. I always get the, it comes in a roll. And I always get that. This is for, these are for extension cords. And... There, you hang that on a nail. You hang that on a nail. There, there you go. You hang that on a nail. This is Velcro. You put your extension cord or whatever you're going to put in there. There. Like so. Hang it up. And there you go. You can hang it on the wall, hooks, whatever. And that's just your, your webbing material. And it came one, two, three, four, five, six. Six in a bag on that. Um, chain. Maybe you can watch this in two. I got this. I know that that's supposed to be for like diabetes and you know it's but i put my name on it i'm sorry i did i just put my little name on it can't hardly read it with all the lights and stuff going but it's got the little star of life on there robin that's what it says it says robin and wow I think I need to leave the scissors open. Come on, come on. Yes, I do. Shoot. All right. This is, it looks like a stack, stackable ring, but it's all one piece. And it's adjustable. So it goes like that. So, yep, there's that. One of the cards. This is another ring. Ring, ring, ring. This is, it has a, can you see it? A heart. Is it a heart? A heart in it with it's banded and again all this stuff is the same stuff oh these were cool my sister sews my other sister and what these are, I think I showed these already in another haul. Somehow or another, you attach these to your sewing machine and it curls the edge of your material into a seam or an edge, a finished edge. And there's, there's several different sizes. So I got these for her. I thought those were cool for her because I'm not gonna sew at all. And I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. One more. One more. I bought these in remembrance of my mom. Remember I mentioned stories on the ranch. Hmm. 
One day my mom called me and said, Robin, I have got something stuck in between my washer and my dryer, and I don't know what it is. It's a sock or an animal. Great. Great. She was right. It was an animal. It was a skunk. A little baby skunk. And like the true ranch woman that she could be, she had tried to get it out thinking that it was a black sock. Before I even got to her house, I smelled the skunk. And I'm not talking like, oh, there's a skunk. I'm like, oh Lord Jesus, please don't let that be a skunk in her house. Please let that skunk be at the barn, in the wild. No, it was not. I get out of the car and I can't, I hadn't even made it into her house yet. I had not made it into her house. And I get on the front porch and she opens the door and I'm like, I'm gagging. I'm retching. I'm like, I can't, I can't breathe. It's so bad. She couldn't smell it. Could not smell it. She opens the door and she looks at me like, well, what is wrong with you? And I'm like, mom, you know, I'm just, I can't, I can't, I can't. And by this time, her little white cream colored poodle runs out of the door and it's got this like bright yellow on the side of its head where the skunk had sprayed her. She was just glad to get out of the house. And mom's like, well, come in here and see what that is. I could not walk through the house. I couldn't even walk through the door, much less the house. And I couldn't catch my breath. It was so bad. Finally, I just grabbed the front of her, her shirt and I pulled her out. I'm like, mom, get out of the house. Can't you smell that? Well, she couldn't. We tried everything, everything to get it out. Nothing worked. We finally had to call the fire department and the, oh, and they came to um, help us out with getting it out. They had to put it breathing. Oh, it was horrible. Everything. And I do mean everything in that house smelled like skunk. Her clothes, her bedding, her curtains. Oh. We got it out of the dog by using, trust me on this, it works. Dawn dishwashing liquid, vinegar, they said a douche, baking soda, and you just keep washing it. And it took every bit of the scent out. It's the Dawn dishwashing liquid that does the most because it releases the greasy residue of the oil in the skunk's perfume. And I use that term. I'm sure it's just the best thing if you're a skunk, but if you're a human, it is gaggy. I'm so sorry this took so long, but like I said, I've caught up with everything now. And so I've got other stuff coming in that, um, matter of fact, I can't even remember what I've got coming in. Anyway, thank you so much if you've stuck with me for this long. I really do appreciate it. Please remember to push the like button and the subscribe button. And hopefully, and I know the next one will not be so long. I'll try to make it as entertaining, coming up with some stories and stuff. Like I said, I have got a lot. Being EMS, hairstylist, and living on a ranch all my life. I've got them. 
So just remember, take it easy. Be careful out there. It's getting crazier and crazier by the day. Peace out. Ciao.